Hey, how's it going, everyone? So, uh, just kind of doing this on the fly. I've been watching a lot of House MD lately, and I figured might as well do a quick uh, tier list of, I guess, what you would call the core sort of doctors that you saw in the series. So, it's not going to include um, the uh, candidates from, I forget which season it was, where he had such people as Taub and 13 and Kuttner. So you won't see those people because they didn't get hired. So these are all like hired people and just sort of core characters throughout the eight seasons. So we'll start. And at S, obviously like very top spot, like... Pretty much perfect. Uh, oops, got to switch that around. I don't know how that happened. But then obviously F is just the worst. So, yeah. All right, so we'll start with Dr. Cuddy, uh, Dean of Medicine, Princeton, Plainsboro, all that yada yada. Uh, this, this one's kind of tough for me personally because she's got... It's like every season, I feel like it's always the three ways that you can go. Either like her, don't care, so you're just kind of in the middle, or just dislike her. Um, so I'd say she's, I guess, middle of the road. I'd say maybe just above middle of the road. Uh, so we'll put her at like a B. I'm not going to say she's perfect by any means, and... Uh, I'm sort of based, basing my ratings off of um, how they perform as a doctor and then sort of their personality and stuff like that. Uh, Dr. Cameron, <coughs> uh, I'm not going to say she's perfect by any means, uh, but I'll put her in A, 100%. Uh, she's got a heart, she cares, and... She's also a good doctor, but, you know, she's she's made mis mistakes just like, you know, everyone everyone else would. So, yeah. Uh, 13. Ooh. This is kind of another tough one. Um, I want to say she's one of those doctors where she's nice enough to pass as being nice. And that's, like, as far as she's going to go. Like, she's not going to use all her energy in being super nice to patients. Um, but like I said, she's passing just enough as being nice. I, I'd i say she's nice um, if I personally, in a different world, you know, met her in person. I feel like she'd be nice. So, um, kind of up in the air. I'm going to say B personally um because she's very up and down uh dr house um i mean it's really hard uh like he's not gonna go below a for sure um do i want to be biased fuck it i'm gonna be biased now we i i will say a lot of his ways of practicing medicine can be unorthodox but you know he cures people i mean obviously people die have died in his care but it's not you know because of his fault as long as he solves whatever puzzle he's trying to solve that's all he personally cares for uh but you know he saved a lot of lives so you gotta give him credit for that I don't remember this doctor's name. I think it's probably the only one. Um, but this is the doctor that House met when he was in prison. And then later hired her on, I believe, in the 8th season is when he went to prison. So yeah, the 8th season. Um, I believe she's in, like, the back half, if not a little bit more. Or I guess she's in basically every episode of season 8. Because she's in the prison too. So yeah. So she's an anchor. Uh, anyways. Um, really hard to to give her 
a rating because she was only in one season. Uh, same goes for Stacy, but um, uh, I guess um, she was nice. She had good intentions. Uh, she, I mean, she bent the rules a little bit uh, during the whole prison uh, debacle, but uh, I'll put her at. I'd say I'm gonna say for because she's only in one season of C for now. Um, I'm not saying she's mean by any means. I think she's really nice actually, but um, me personally, I feel like you gotta have a couple seasons in give or take to really get to know a character because characters can change after a different season, uh, whether it's for the script or not but yeah so we'll put that see uh house's ex-wife um honestly i didn't really care for her personally uh, i think she's nice enough so we'll just put her at c uh and i'm gonna move on because not a whole lot really to talk about um you know a house obviously is ex and then had a thing again with her while she was working at the hospital. So there's that. Uh, but. Yeah. I feel like she fits. Fits perfect. At a. Uh, at a C. For sure. Alright. Uh, Masters. Martha Masters. Uh, what season did she come in? Was it the last one? To no. No. It was. I want to say season 6. Six, season five, maybe season seven, right around between five and seven, give or take. Uh, like I said, possibly eighth season. Um, great intentions, a uh, very smart doctor. Um, but she was new at doing diagnostics and stuff like that, and trying to figure things out sort of on the fly. Uh, you know, like with House, he's done it for so long that it's. I'm not going to say a walk in the park, but it's a walk in the park to him compared to what she's having to deal with. And so, uh, I think she maybe solved a few things here and there that were huge, but, um, I'm going to put her at A, if I'm being honest. She's, I think it's mainly because she's very nice. She's, you know, I wouldn't say she's necessarily got a heart of gold, but she's, she's pretty close. Uh, to there. And yeah, I mean, she's one of those characters where I feel like some people might, might have found her annoying at times, you know, with the way she acted because she is pretty young. I think she was like, I, I don't know, in her early 20s or something like that when she was um, on House's teams, which is crazy. But yeah, or early to mid 20s. But yeah. Uh, cutthroat bitch, Amber. Um, okay. So, I feel like with this character, people either like her or hate her. I don't think people would necessarily love this character, per se. Uh, for me, personally, it's whatever. Uh, she's being competitive. Yes, she could be selfish at times, and yes, be a cutthroat bitch, but, um... I kind of understand where she's coming from. You know, she's she's being competitive. Uh, but I think a lot of people just didn't like it. Uh, me, I didn't like it at times, I guess. But I, the one thing I didn't like is, like, being like that in a hospital setting just doesn't feel right already. And then the person, you know, kind of goes just a little bit out of their way to push it in here and there so that's my take on her uh put her at d if i'm being honest i really don't care for her character all right uh cutner cutner um it's it, too bad for him with his you know what happened to him but i i feel like he had really good intentions he was a great doctor. 
And I should mention they were all great doctors, by the way, but it's besides the point. And Cutner, though, I don't know, like, he he was one of those guys where he was a doctor, a very good doctor, but he was also just, like, a kid inside. Um, and I think a lot of people like that. I think it, it was sort of a charm uh, to his personality. Uh, you know, he would get mad at times. He had a few mess ups here and there, I think, uh, shocking himself, uh, shocking a patient and then the patient, uh, I guess lighting on fire, not nothing crazy, but enough to cause a stir. Uh, like I said, he's got good intentions. I'll put him at B if I'm being honest. I think that's a, a fair spot for Kuttner. Uh, Dr. Taub, um, now if I can get over the fact of him, you know, cheating on his wife and, you know, doing all that stuff, I think he's a good guy overall. Um, he's got good intentions, but he's one of those doctors where he doesn't really ever build any rapport with the patient, which at the slightest, just build a little, like, even, even Dr. House, uh, maybe if he talks to his patients, he'll, you know, try and read them and build some sort of relationship with them, uh, even if it's just slightly. Dr. Talbot feels like, um, when he's talking to them, he's just talking to them. He's not necessarily trying to build a rapport, and if you notice him trying to ask questions about them and build some sort of relationship, it feels very forced on his part. Like he's just pushing that out of his mouth and saying it just to, you know, try and keep him talking, if that makes sense. Uh, so for him, see, if I'm being honest, uh, I liked his character overall. Didn't have any complaints. Uh, Dr. Wilson, of course, is an S. Uh, being an oncologist, he's one of the few, if not the only one, who actually has a heart of gold in this series. Uh, anchor character in the series as well. Uh, in just about every single episode at some point. And with him being an oncologist, uh, they really did a good job at building... Uh, his character up to sort of be a very sympathetic doctor who actually cares a lot. So it's a very good choice for them to make him and House best friends. They're complete polar opposites and they just can't get away from each other. Dr. Foreman. Um, I personally like Dr. Foreman. I like his character because it's he's very stern um he doesn't necessarily have a lot of feelings um but when he does show his feelings you can tell that he means it 100 percent. so he's one of those guys where he's a very no bullshit person he says it and tells it how it is and he sort of deals with the consequences by doing that but He's very successful in that. He's also a neurologist. Uh, neurology, you know, anything with a brain is going to be very complicated and hard uh, as far as practice in medicine. And so he's an excellent doctor. Um, this is tough, if I'm being honest. Uh, I think I'm going to put him at A. Yeah. A is a good spot. Uh, Dr. Chase, uh, middle of the road, I'd say. Sit pretty good at B, better than Tau, yeah, better than all these three, but not necessarily. It's weird seeing Masters up here, uh, and I just want to emphasize again, she's up here because she's very emotional and empathetic towards her patients. That's why. Uh, but Dr. Chase, uh... General Surgeon, very good at what he does. Um, I'd say one of the best sort of 
overall trauma general surgeons in the hospital. Uh, you kind of see later throughout the seasons that if House needs a favor or something like that and it has to do with surgery, he always goes to Chase um, or Dr. Cameron for any advice because they both later on work in the ER or uh, Chase is sort of trauma surgeon and uh, like overall general surgeon. And Dr. Cameron is in trauma. And yeah, but Chase, he's middle of the road. Um, he has feelings, uh, doesn't necessarily show them a lot. But when he does, it's sort of the same thing. Like, he means it. And yeah. And the last one, uh, Dr. Park, I believe. She's in the eighth season. She's another sort of, with this girl, um, just sort of in the last season. So it's hard to read, but I'd say she's a very good doctor. Another, she's sort of like Masters, but I would say not as smart, if I'm being honest. Um, but she's a young, uh, I can't think if she's a resident or a medical student or if she's a full-on doctor. I think she's a full-on doctor, though. But she's a younger doctor, just like I said, Masters. Uh, she does a good job, but like I said, can't really read her too much, so I'll just put her in the C category. So that's my tier list of House MD. If you guys enjoyed this, consider subscribing, hit the like button if you like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.